qualification suit solo udo lens fit on november 30th what's up guys welcome back to Ninja trends hd a federal high court in abuja on tuesday slated for november 30th judgment in the suit challenging the qualification of anambra state governor election uh, anambra state governor elect professor charles soludo and the deputy governor elect oyeka ibezim to contest the last governorship election in the state it was reported that justice taiwo taiwo fixed the date after lawyers to parties made their final submission the plaintiffs, adding to Valentine and Egudi K. Chukweboka, are contending that Soludo provided false information in the affidavit from EC9 that he submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission and should be deemed unqualified to stand for election. In the suit, Mark FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 711 slash 2021, the plaintiffs claim that Soludo indicated in the affidavit that he was contesting the Aguata 2 constituency seat when, in fact, it was contesting the Anambra governorship seat. Defendants in the suit are the Independent National Electoral Commission and All Progressive Grand Alliance, Soludo and Ibezim. In their final submission, plaintiff's lawyer A. O. E. Jerry and Kevin Okoko argued that having indicated the wrong seat he was contesting, Soludo supplied INEC with false information, violated extant legal provisions, and ought to be, to be disqualified. The constitution has made a state a constituency in relation to the governorship election, but in the case, the third defendant, Soludo, named Aguata II as the constituency he is contesting. A jury said, um, as against the contention by lawyers to the second to fourth defendant, Jerry argued that his client have established that there was a case of action and that the court has, ju has jurisdiction to determine the case. The case of action is in uh, a pre-election matter by provision of section 285 bracket 9 of the uh, constitution is determined by the date of the occurrence of the event. A decision or action complained about in the suit by the plaintiff, there is evidence that INEC received the submitted form EC9 on July 6, 2021, Jerry said. He then prayed the court to find merit in the case and grant the reliefs sought by the plaintiffs. Lawyer for Abga and Soludo Nyechi Ibazu San argued that the suit was without merit and that the court lacked jurisdiction. Ibazu contended that error in an affidavit cannot be a basis to disqualify a candidate from election noting that the false information contemplated in section 31 of the electoral act was criminal in nature lawyer to ibezim c mberry argued in similar vein and prayed the court to uphold his objection and dismiss the suit lawyer to Ainek bashir Abubaka said his client did not file any process in the case and has elected to leave the decision at the discretion of court. This is very interesting, guys. This is actually a true story and a really shocking story. Well, let's see how it turns out to be. People are of the insinuation that this is a second chance to bring in a Supreme Court Governor to Anambra State. There will it stand? Will it work? We are watching. Someone has said in the comment section that they don't start. They won't give Fort Runner up the position. <laughs> and person said cheap people looking for cheap propaganda to get fame. More person said, another person said, I think Soludo will scare true, but that is a very, very calamitous error. That's even actually if he actually made such error. Another person said, um, should anything go wrong with Soludo's mandate, the PDP AZ will be next governor of Anambra State because he came second, and that's supposed to be true. Another person said, fatal error, Soludo may be gone. You can't be given what you have not contested for. <laughs> Sorry, that touch. Another person said, if the suit is to succeed, it will be based purely on a technicality, but I don't think it will succeed. 
that's true the suit feels like it's a technical error and not a direct or purported or purposeful error now somebody said what is happening here another supreme court governor loading in the southeast there is problem and i think chief victor may should be questioned on this costly error for mocking soludo during one of the campaigns how can soludo and abga election screening committee make this costly mistake let's pray that the third position candidates do not become the next governor of anambra state well guys that's all if you have anything to say pertaining to this leave it in the comment section do you think soludo skate through this accusation do you think the accusation was made in error whatsoever is your thoughts leave it in the comment section thank you see you next time